The greatest week of the year, so great to be back at Knoxville Raceway for the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals. We've had a lot of big events this year, but this is the one that tops them all. Fans all over making their way here to Knoxville, Iowa. It's race time in the Valley here in Knoxville! On the move, the Swindell Speed Lab, number 39, side by side with Justin Sanders, Hunter Schoenberg, Donnie Shaw, now dives to the bottom in turn one, tries to get the move made on Hunter Schoenberg. Regardless of maybe it not being the biggest paying purse anymore, it's it's still the biggest race to any sprint car driver here, just because of uh, the history behind it, uh, the, the the names that have won it, um, you know, just the atmosphere of this place. It's, it's a big half mile, lots of people in the grandstands, lots of people here this week. Uh, just the uh, the atmosphere around this place just kind of sets the tone for I think why this place is so cool and why it's so important to so many drivers. You just gotta lay down two laps in qualifying. You know, it's so important, so important for points uh, to start off your week. Um, you know, if you, if you can uh, if you can get two fast laps in qualifying, it makes the rest of your prelim night a lot easier, uh, and it makes Saturday a lot easier. So, a lot of emphasis on qualifying. Uh, really showing up today on a prelim night, really not thinking about anything else other than qualifying until that's over. Um, and then you just kind of go out the rest of the night after that. The yeah, greatest week of the year. So great to be back at Knoxville Raceway for the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals presented by Casey's here on Brant Professional Agriculture Qualifying Night. 52 cars signed in. And From Sykeston, Missouri, the Victory Fuel, Swindell Speed Lab, Daughters Boutique, Jay Davidson Scrap Metal, cut number 39. That's 100% Hunter Schurenberg. It's set to go green on our second practice session. Swindell Speed Lab, Daughters Boutique, Jay Davidson Scrap Metal, car number 39, it's 100% Hunter Schurenberg.
bottom down there after the checker felt pretty good. I think that's what that kid did was bottom bottom. I never got a read on it for sure down there. Like I never actually saw somebody do it 100%. It was just really wide around the top. That's still pretty good for where we went. Yeah. 10 laps is the distance. Top four move to the feature. They'll start this way. And outside of row three, sixth in the starting order from Sykeston, Missouri. The Victory Fuel Swindell Speed Lab, Daughters Boutique, Jay Davidson Scrap Metal number 39, Hunter Schurenberg. 10 cars, 10 laps. Top four to the feature. Slow pace set now, the green flag in the air for the case number one engine oil heat race. Brady Bacon leading into turn one. Jake Poo back in the second spot on the move. The Swindell Speed Lab, number 39. Side by side with Justin Sanders, Hunter Schurenberg. They'll go wheel to wheel into three and four, battling for third as the Macho Man leads the opening lap and 100% now up to third. Brady Bacon leading it. Justin Sanders trying to come back at Schurenberg for the third spot. Brady Bacon looking strong out in front of the field. Now Schurenberg goes down to the low side of the speedway in one and two, coming after Bubak for second, but can't get close enough to try to make anything happen. Race car? A race car. <laughs> Just couldn't quite figure out like what to do to catch it. Pretty much everybody behind you was running the bottom. Like everybody had gave up on it. But I don't know, it seems like we like watching down there, it's like if we could get it to just steer in instead of kind of like it, you know what I mean? It's like it goes down there and you kinda of have to like drop and you just keep just running it on the curve and like follow. Right. Once you get off in the corner it has a lot of drops. But like it steers down the straightaways. Like, like you drop left, but you're too much left front. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's so much left rear, and it's like once we once we're down in the corner, we've like already eight guys in the entry. Yeah. We kind of get down like this, and then the right rear picks up, and we start rotating. Okay, boys. Hard part over. Hard part over. Hard part over, boys. Good job. As we kick off the greatest week in sprint car racing, it is now time for our 25 lap feature. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your starting lineup. Sixth starter from Sykeston, Missouri. Driving car number 39, the Victory Fuel Swindell Speed Lab, Daughters Boutique, Jay Davidson Scrap Metal Entry. It's Hunter Schurenberg. Schurenberg digs down low in three and four. Can't do anything with the madman there on the top of the racetrack. Looking for a run on the front stretch. Donnie Schatz now dives to the bottom in turn one. Tries to get the move made on Hunter Schurenberg. They'll slide up the racetrack Whoa. as Hunter Schurenberg squeaks by him on the outside.
Down the back straightaway, Donnie back to the inside now as he closes in on Hunter Schoenberg. Schoenberg off the top of the racetrack in turn number four, goes to the bottom to block the inside line, opens it back up in one, shots to the inside, he'll slide up across the racetrack to hold the position, he'll get by Schoenberg down the back straight for fourth.
sitting behind, but we're second. Hunter, you're second. <laughs> That's good enough, right? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have that, like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Try to come from out and like arc to it and meet it like past. Too far out. Yeah, and it's just like like here. I almost so much of the time found it's like you're better off to like be almost at the bottom of the straightaway like this and run out of there and like shut it down for a second yeah. and like grab it and then go again. You well, know what I mean? Like I trying to. That's actually what I was trying to go. keep from doing was like shut it down. Well, maybe I'd be better. Yeah. I'm used to every time I shut it down here, I just pick the left side of it. Well, I don't think your car does that as bad, so maybe I need to get used to just run down in there, slow down, and it's not gonna get. Yeah. Like if, if you come off the wall to do it, I think you just have to like back pedal the whole way to the burn. Like regular, right, just you know what I mean. It's not like a dump. It's just like a yeah. So you, you mean when you come off the wall down here? Yeah, or like like say you're going into one. Like if you you turn off the wall to go to the bottom, right? Like if you just kind of like drop it so you stay on the wing, but never like completely. It's like you have to just go from like 190 to 80 to 70 to 60 to 50 to 40 to 30 to 20. You almost got to let the car do this a little bit to get the right side to grab. Yeah, it's like it's like if you go into you, you lift, you pop up. But as long as you like stay like loaded, but you're not here. It's like everything's just got to be like this and loaded. And you have to as, as soon as you break that and do it there, like you're dead. Maybe not even so much just lower, but being there sooner. Like you just have to, your left side's got to be there as soon as possible. Uh, it's pretty big. I mean, especially with, uh, especially with the way the season's gone, you know, um, just, uh, it, it's been tough. Um, you know, losing the motor home and um, losing a bunch of stuff, uh, the, our stuff, the kids stuff, and trying to rebound from that and then, you know, crashing some cars in the 55 and then parting ways with that deal and and then kind of bouncing around and crashing a few more. It's it's just been um, it's been it's been hard and it's been um, it's been something that has really tested tested my confidence and, and, and really just tested me in general. And um, you know to come here with with Kevin and Joe and, and the rest of this team and, and lock it into my first Knoxville Nationals. I, I, it, I don't want to say I do it all over again because that none of that stuff was fun, but. Man, it just seems like it it, uh, it it really makes going through all that stuff and sticking with it worth it. Oh, it's really good. Um, for as little as we raced this year, you know, last year, we, it took us forever. It seems to get get right. It took three nights here, more or less, to get right. So it was a lot closer out of the box. And Mahunter uh, did good all night to get him in his first one. And I don't think he has a lot of confidence for this place, kind of like anybody does when they struggle here. But um, we were close. It just Kind of put it on safe mode for the feature to make sure we, we got in, but uh, and, you know, knowing the position we were in, but you know, all in all, it's a really good night and try to make it better and see if we can race Saturday. And they've done calculations. We know who is starting where in the top eight rows of the 62nd NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals here on Saturday night. Kyle Larson, Enrico Abreu, Donnie Schatz, and Logan Schuhart. Carson Macedo, Hunter Schoenberg. It is Championship Saturday at the NOS Energy Drink Knoxville Nationals. No other feeling like it in the entire sport. This is uh, a very big deal to make this race. Uh, something that I've dreamed about doing for a really long time. Talked about it a lot today, you know. It's, uh, uh, it, I think it takes all, all day to kind of soak it in that, that, that you're actually in. Um, you know, but also being a competitor. It's cool to be in, but once you know you're in and these race cars start shoving through this push-off line and stuff, uh, you can't help but want a little bit more. So I uh, don't want to sound greedy or anything, but uh, definitely uh, want to seize the opportunity and, and do all we can to, to finish as good as we can. I feel like it's also got to be a little bit satisfying with all the drama that's happened with you this year with, with the car ride swapping and things like that to come into this car the first night out in it and put it in the Austin National. It's got to be a little bit satisfying, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's uh, it's definitely a confidence booster for sure. Uh, this season's been really tough. Um, you know, motorhome fire, crashing cars, team ball car, you know, those kinds of things. But, uh, you know, I'm not the only sprint car driver here that's had to come over and come through some adversity before. Um, every guy in this pit area has got a story. Everybody in here is really passionate about this sport. Every driver is competitive. So, um, you know, it's just a choice. Either uh, either keep coming back and hoping it turns, hope it turns around or uh, quit and go home. And uh, when 
we're not going to do the ladder. So um, definitely just proud of this whole Victory Fuel team. Proud of Kevin and Joe for for building a car for such a small amount of racing and still being so competitive. Um, definitely want to uh, let everybody know we're here tonight racing for Danny Christian uh, in his memory. Uh, something that's a family that's very important to Kevin and Joe. And um, just hope we can do everybody proud. Your sixth starter from Sykeston, Missouri, in the Victory Fuel, Speed Lad, Hop Farms, Osler Group, Mountain Mechanical, Jay Davidson, Scrap Metal, car number 39, 100% Hunter Schurenberg. 17's fastest lap now. 17. That was a 17-0 right there. That's the fastest anybody ran. Parker ran like a two in all laps. Yeah, the front three ran O's. I think it's this, like, this end looks really slick. Like, that end's not that bad. Like, it's only like three quarters of the way up, but this is like the fence. Don't, don't find that one corner around the top, but yeah. I feel like I kind of have a tendency down there to kind of left rear push yeah. up off the bottom. That's gotcha. Probably even, looking at it going around, probably need to be even back a little further than that to start, probably. Yeah, I'd probably maybe just be like in between. Yeah. I think that'll yeah. help too. Just settle it down, down the straightway. Yeah. They make their way down the backstretch in front of the sold out backstretch grandstands and all the lights. And as they reach corner number four, they get the signal to show you the most awesome sight in all of motorsport. Knoxville Raceway, you wanted the best. You got them for a rest. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show on dirt, the world of outlaws. NOS Energy Drink, Knoxville Nationals, presented by Casey's. As they roar into turns three and four, it's race time in the valley here in
Wally Price in the Pella Motors Pace Vehicle about to lead the field onto pit road for our halfway break. And so now the open red flag condition begins. The motor play ball fell out. What is it? I can't wait to Yeah, you're f***ing live. Just change it. Like, let's at least just learn something. changed after the first couple laps at the first run there then kind of to make it's like you maintained kind of with everybody and then all of a sudden it just wasn't it, just, it was just like i had just enough moisture everywhere to be okay and then, and then i had to start like hitting it like with the left side with the only thing in moisture i couldn't i couldn't stay in it it's weird this year man it's just weird this year. I don't know what it is. I swear, it just seems like everything I told you about, like a like loving the way a '96 belt when we ran it on Clint's car, just like everything that it did there, I hate it. I think that's where, like, when that comes into play, you almost just have to enter down a little bit off of it. Right. You know what I mean? And where you can keep your wing back, so you can just jam yeah. down and across there, and then pick it up because. If you do that hit and do that, you're doomed. And yeah. then if you I try to get, slow down on entry, you're doomed too. Then I just get timid of like sliding to it, hitting it, like picking it up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think you just kind of have to figure out how to be like that far, you know what I mean? Or you don't even go, like you're just right there and pick it up kind of in motion as opposed to just behind on data this year and then especially at this place. It just seems like it, when it gets this slick and slow, that's when it starts to get tight for and the car starts to get stupid and shitty. Yeah. We got enough moisture to just hammer it, we can make the car just not sit. Or you can keep it down. It's probably only like a 
fourth or fifth feature I've ran here in the last couple, like three years. I mean, I get it. It's just, yeah. it's office. I mean, we're only talking about seven races this year. Eight, whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah. I swung 39s yes. on everything, don't I? Yeah, and a heart. Yeah, everything has a yeah. heart. 39, Hunter, you're up. <laughs>